A foremost advocate for women's rights, Nolene Heiser, executive director of UNIFEP, traveling the world, hearing the voices of women, learning of their needs and solutions for creating stable, healthy communities and nations. She then takes their messages back to the United Nations. I'll be meeting with the women's groups and I'll be listening very carefully to them. She witnesses firsthand women's extreme difficulties and challenges, like violations of human rights. One message is very clear. The women of Afghanistan know the cost of exclusion, the cost of failed states and economies, the cost of accumulated conflict. They know what it means to be displaced, to have one of the highest rates of maternal and child mortality and total exclusion from public life. She hears how they're confronting HIV and AIDS and ending violence against women. There are many women who have suffered from rape, from pain. Struggling to rebuild their lives and their families when the wars have ended. What is very clear is that w women want peace and therefore if they would like to be part of the solution, we, we need to build up the capacity of women to be part of that solution. She works to help empower women economically so they can take a larger role in the rebuilding of their societies. It is not enough to have income generating projects for women. There has to be an employment strategy for the country that takes into account women's needs. The international community and UNIFEM in particular would like to offer you whatever help you need to make sure that your agenda becomes a reality. In over 120 countries, women and their organizations can depend on UNIFEM for funding, advocacy, and for delivering their message to national and international leaders holding the governments and the United Nations accountable. What is obvious to you, unfortunately, Mr. Ambassador, is not obvious to the world. The world suffers from gender blindness. And one of the reasons why you have the phenomena of inequality is because the work of women is not supported, is not valued, and is not recognized. Making sure women are at the negotiating table. In rebuilding Afghanistan, women will need to be part of the governance structure seeing that ideas and visions are realized through legislation, regional policies, and UN resolutions. Mr. President, I would like to put to the Council that without international action, women caught in conflict will have no security of any kind, whatever the definition. And without their participation, the peace process itself suffers, for there will neither be justice nor development and building partnerships and the capacities and institutions to implement them. UNIFEM and Nolene Heiser serving as the voice for women everywhere, empowering their hopes and visions for building vibrant economies, democratic governments, and educational opportunities for their children, for themselves, and for their nations.